Hello, hello, and welcome to my new channel. I'm Kat, and this channel is only gonna be for hunting treasures. So today I am at Yankee Town Women's Club. They have a little thrift store here. It's kind of a little hidden gem. I have found some excellent, excellent things here. They have been closed for the summer. They just reopened two days ago. So let's go see what we can find. It is raining, it is nasty, but I'm excited to go see what we can find. So first we're gonna go here in the shed and see what is inside of here. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a little shed and they have stuff in here. So let's see what we see. These are some cute little ice cream bowls. It looks like they're $2 made for the Smucker Company. Really cute with the pink and the blue. But I don't think they're impressive enough that I want to get them. Now, Walt Disney. This is a really cute piglet mug. And it's got Promise You Won't Forget Me Ever. This is only $3. I think I might get this. This is really cute. And I like the different colors on the inside. And here are some shell bowls oven proof made in japan but they're a dollar each i think that might be a little more than i want to pay look at this bowl this is absolutely beautiful hand painted for sure Stovit hand-painted, made in Italy. I'm not familiar with that brand. It's a beautiful bowl. They've got it at $5. Oh, what is this? What is this? Look at this. Walt Disney Productions. Cute little wrought iron trivet. Made in Japan. But $5 is a bit much for me, so I think I'm going to leave that. But that's very, very cute. These are cute little owl, like, grippies for the tub. I really, really like this wicker shelf. $15. That's not too bad. I don't have room in my car, but I might have to come get this with Brad's truck because I really like that. It's almost like a ladder and then these little baskets pull out. This would be like really pretty functional storage. And I think I see a Longa Burger basket up there. It might not be Longa Burger. Let's see. No, so all... All Longa Burger is marked and this one's not marked. It's only a dollar. It's a cute one, but the looks like the hanger's broken off. Autumn Antrim, New Hampshire. This is Bay Pottery 2001, so it is vintage. I don't see I don't see a price on this. And this is a really, really pretty fish plate. It's $5, though. That's a little more than I want to spend, but I really, really love that. Let's see. What else do we see? Look at these kitty cats. That is super cute. Like a little cat plate. And what is this? not marked and they've got five dollars on it so without it being named i don't think i really want to pay that much now this little tonala bird is very cute and it's only two dollars so i think we're gonna get this
I really, I really, really like this little bird. This one is signed, it's five as well, but that's not a name that I am familiar with, but this is really, really pretty. Vase here is really pretty, but it's so, it's just so big, it's so big. Let's see what else we can find in here. Do you hear the thunder? Do you hear the thunder? It is icky out there. These are cute little glass eggs. Maybe if it was closer to Easter. Let's see. These are super cute. But $2, I think, is a little more than I want to pay. If you do not know me, I am cheap. I am cheap. We've got a little, a little clown here playing a flute. This is an absolutely gorgeous art glass bowl. It's not signed, though, and they have... $12 on that, so I think I'll leave that one here. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they are there. That's really, really cute. This little elephant's cute, but I think it's made to look old. I don't think it's actually old. I'm not sure. Tell me what you think. I think I'm gonna leave him for now. A little Raggedy Ann applause doll. This one they've got two dollars. I don't I don't know if that's good or not. And I don't know what these flip-flops are. All right, let's go ahead and go inside the store. I hear the rain, it is pouring down. Hi ladies, Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. You too. You're not breaking the weather. I was I like, I know, I was like, oh they opened, I gotta go, I gotta yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> gotta go find me some treasures. Yes. Oh, I love that bird. Yeah, that bird's really cute. I love this little how much are the kids' clothes? I don't remember. They got five inside. Yeah, oh, got there it is. I like that for my son. It's a little big, but. And we got some racks in the front room. He'll grow into different it. clothes on the front Yeah, room. yeah. He, they grow so fast. Yeah, so All right. The ladies were talking, so we are going to switch over to a voiceover here. I'm looking through the t-shirts, and this one caught my eye. The biker rally shirts are really popular and they actually had two of these. So I did pick both of them up. I typically always look through the t-shirts as well as the button ups. This polo is a Disney, but there was nothing on the back. So I don't think it would be very desirable. So I did decide to leave that one there. And the brands on those printed shirts were not great or anything that stood out to me. So I did decide to leave those there. But look at this pink flamingo shirt. I absolutely love picking up Hawaiian shirts because it's always warm somewhere. It's always warm somewhere. I like this eagle print, but it was priced a little bit too high. And again, I am looking at the brands and... Also the patterns, if it's a really good pattern, I'll get it regardless of what the brand is. But for some of the so-so patterns, I do look at the brands to decide if I wanna get them or not. And there weren't a ton, but this one is Salt Life. 
And these don't sell for a ton, but I like the orange and blue. I think this would be good gaiters. And then here we have some biker shirts. This one here, I'm going to come back to look at. But for now, we're going to check out some of the hats. This is a Guinness hat, and it should do pretty good. I'm going to reach up top here and grab another hat to show you. So this one's an equipment hat. It is mesh back kind of a trucker style and the hats are only a dollar i absolutely love finding hats for a dollar because most of them will sell for like 12 to 15 dollars on average plus shipping this is a vera bradley it was a little faded though so i decided to leave that one there and here's another this is another equipment hat and i picked that one up as well there, somebody must have donated all of their equipment hats. That camo one should also sell very, very well. Now, this is an absolutely beautiful sack purse. If you don't know, sack purses sell absolutely great. Now, when I went to the front to drop off what my arms were full with, I saw these necklaces. I really, really like this dragonfly ceramic one. It's really, really cute, but they are $4 each, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that much. I like this glass bead one as well, but I did, I did decide to leave them there. I did decide to leave them. Now, here in this back room, everything here is a dollar which is absolutely amazing. The stuff is normally out on the sidewalk, but since it was raining, they did put it inside. I always look through the dollar racks because you never know what you'll find like this. And they do have four racks full of clothes. I pick up a lot of jean shorts. They don't sell for much, but they are really good sellers. I also love to pick up really, really colorful dresses. This one here with the geometric patterns is a really, really cool dress. It's Volcom, which is kind of a surfer brand, but I absolutely love this print. Now we are on the last rack. I always, I have to look through everything. I have to look through everything. I didn't see a brand on that dress. So I did decide to leave that one. Without a brand, dresses are hard to sell. I can sell the Hawaiian shirts pretty easy without a brand because I have good keywords with what's on them. And then here is this shirt. I thought about it, but I ended up leaving it. And we'll come back to this. We are back to the biker shirt. I went back and picked it up. Now here, if you know me, I'm a Gators fan. So I absolutely love this shirt, but they had it at $8 and it's probably worth about 25 to 30, but for me, it's hard to pay $8. So I did regrettingly put that back, but Look at this cute little gator's pillow. I got this gator's pillow for Dalton. This would be a good item to put in my store, but my four-year-old is such a big gator's fan. We are going to keep this gator's pillow at our house. And up front on the racks, look at these really, really cute aprons. They're only marked a dollar. They're really, really mid-century modern. This one has the six pack of abs, which is super, super cute. I'm sure somebody will absolutely love this apron. And then I also saw this third little half apron here on the back. So I love the print on this one. Now we're gonna look at some linens. I love looking at linens. I think a lot of people miss this category 
and I really, really love it. This blanket is super bright and bold, but they had it at $8, and typically, I like to try and find these for under $5. And here, what is this? These are absolutely fabulous with the tropical print. They are really, really thick upholstery. They've got a great floral design there on the back. I couldn't find a brand, but with this pattern, I really don't think it matters. Now here, a lot of times I like to pick these up where I can't see the full design. This is definitely Walt Disney and Mickey and for only $4, you know. All right, now let's go back to the dollar rack. This Comfort Colors Cape Cod shirt is a really, really nice shirt. And here the racks are marked men and women, but you never know what'll be on what. So I don't find Patagonia often, but I cannot believe I just found a Patagonia shirt on the dollar rack and it's an extra, extra large. How amazing is that? Okay, if you didn't pay attention, uh, you need to rewind, rewind and watch that for a giveaway. So I love vintage ladies nightgowns. They are really, really neat and they tend to be pretty good sellers. This one is absolutely amazing. A lot of times I notice when I go to the thrift store and there's one really cool vintage one, there are more. So this is Barbizon and it's so, so pretty with the floral. This is Victorian like it's got the pink ribbons and it's a cool set. This is another place I think people really, really neglect looking for stuff, but there's some really valuable vintage nightgowns. This brand is Notori, and these are silk and absolutely amazing Asian prints. It is a two-piece set, and there was a second one. So I absolutely love the ladies at this store. She came up to me and told me I couldn't be shopping with my hands full. This is a small store, so they don't have carts. So she came and took everything I had. And then I came back to this travel on purse. All right, so we didn't do too bad there. I found some pretty cool stuff. So some of this stuff will be available in like a thrift box for you to buy to resell. That'll be available over on haul sale. Some of it will go to my eBay store, like the breakables. I'm not gonna put those in thrift boxes. And then I'm gonna do a giveaway. So in the video, if you missed it, you have a special keyword pop-up and every single one of my sourcing videos i'm going to give away something so i hope you guys have enjoyed this let's take a look and see exactly what i got and i will see you on the next one all right so most of this laid out here is going to go in a thrift box on haul sale so it will be a hundred dollars for everything that i'm getting ready to show you and if you missed it, go back and watch when I found this shirt. This 2XL Patagonia, I am giving away to one of you free. Go back in the video and watch for the keyword if you missed it. So in the wholesale thrift box will be this Salt Life shirt, a Cape Cod shirt. This one is Comfort Colors, the USF Bulls. There will be two of these thick tapestry pillow covers, this hardcore choppers, two Sturgis t-shirts, 
this pair of booty shorts, which is universal threads. There is a Mickey blanket. There are two really nice. These should go for $50 a piece, $50 a piece. So these two should cover the whole box, just these two outfits. Those are Notori, really, really good brand. And look, I found a Paradise Found Honolulu Hawaii Pink Flamingo shirt. That will also be in the haul sale box. Barbizon, this is a nightgown and coat. I think this is another $50 here. And then this is a really cute Volcom dress. Really, really cute colors there. Only paid a dollar. And look at these really cool aprons. Look at how cute. Totally mid-century modern there. And those will be in it. As well as this vintage robe. Look at the lace edge on this. And it does have the nightgown. I cannot read the brand. And then the last in the haul sale box is going to be the four trucker hats that I found. So what am I keeping? This piglet mug will be available on my eBay store. It's really cute on the inside. It says, promise you won't forget me ever. This Antrim, New Hampshire. This is Bay Pottery, New Hampton. That will be on my eBay store. This cute little Tanala bird will also be available on my eBay store. And the three purses. That is all I'm keeping for me. This is the sack. And both of these are really, really nice like new travel on purses. So that is my haul. All of this will be in one box for $100 plus shipping over on haul sale. I will drop the link in the comments.